Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. So be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to get all of my videos delivered directly to your inbox. I'm continuing my 2013 NFL Draft Prospects Analysis. Up next is the 6'3", 320-pound guard from the University of Alabama, Chance Warmack. Warmack is a guy who is a part of a very established and elite offensive line at the University of Alabama, joining the likes of Barrett Jones, Cyrus Quanjo, Eric Fluker, okay? Guys that will have NFL careers as well. Warmack, though, is the best pro prospect out of all of these guys. He's a guard, so that makes him unique in the fact that he will be the best offensive lineman in this draft, and he's a guard. So he's at a little bit of an undervalued position, but he's a super, super good player. I mean, that's really the only way to say it. He's an absolute road grader at guard. He's probably he's a top five player in this draft overall. He's a very sought-after prospect by anyone that's looking to bolster uh, the interior of their line. You remember David DeCastro last year, who was the highest-rated guard that we had seen in years? Well, Warmack is even better than him. Okay, you want to know how good Warmack is? All you need to do is ask Trent Richardson, Eddie Lacy, Mark Ingram, and TJ Yeldon. All the running backs that he opened up holes for, along with the rest of his Alabama Crimson Tide line mates in the last three, four years. And Warmack is a guy, okay, 6'3, 320. He's the kind of guy who wears a tight jersey with his gut hanging out everywhere, and he's just an old fashioned mauler. To go along with that, he has deceptive speed and quickness. He's able to trap block. He's able to pull. He's really the complete package that you would look for in an interior lineman. Coming into this season, some things he needed to improve on, according to all the scouts and pundits, was his ability to get to the second level and stick blocks, not just get his body in the way. I think you guys know what I mean. When you see an offensive lineman get to that second level, does he stick his block or is his body just in the way? Well, Warmack this year has gotten way better at sticking those blocks and really driving guys back. He's not afraid to pancake someone. Uh, he's just an absolute stud. And if you get a chance to watch him uh, tonight against the Notre Dame, uh, the tough Notre Dame defensive line, I think you'll really see what we're talking about. I mean, with these SEC teams that Alabama plays, these SEC schools continually churn out top-rated defensive linemen into the NFL. And if you watch Warmack against these guys, like against the, uh, John Jenkins from Georgia, he just looks like a stud. He, he even looks uh, better than guys like that. And it just shows how much a, of at a superior level Warmack is. The only reason why Warmack won't be maybe a top five pick in this draft is because of the position he plays. Uh, he's a very good player, but just some NFL pro personnel guys don't value the guard position the same as tackle or even center in a lot of cases. Uh, Warmack has a body type where he's a straight guard. If you see him, okay, he's he's compact, he's bigger, okay, uh, probably doesn't have the long arms to play tackle. He's just a straight guard that will maul you. And he really doesn't have a weak part of his game from the guard position. I mean, if you watch him in pass protection, he's impenetrable. If you see him opening up holes on a trap block, he's he's outstanding. And when he pulls, he's even, we've seen him times this year, get out in front of screen passes and lead the play down the field. And again, be able to locate, whether it be a linebacker or a defensive back, and stick his block and it leading to huge plays uh, for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Uh, Warmack is a guy that selfishly is a Jets fan. I would love to see him last till nine, pick nine to go to the Jets. Uh, if a team needs an interior lineman, though, don't be surprised to see him go before that. But I think realistically, um, probably anywhere in the eight to 15 range, you'll see Warmack come off the board. You'll see a lot of people who don't know about the prospects be surprised that a guard is coming off the board this early they won't be surprised though once he gets in the nfl he's a guy that you can pop in from day one as a starter coming from the alabama system in which they run a pro style he'll start from day one and given he stays healthy which he's given no indication that he won't um he's going to be a 10 15 year starter in the nfl and be a perennial pro bowler in my eyes uh, the guy is just very impressive to watch 
uh, watch some of his tape, and I think you'll you'll begin to see what I'm talking about. Uh, he's probably one of the less heralded people that you hear about on this Alabama offensive line as far as publicity goes. But you'll see as draft day nears, this is a name you'll be hearing constantly when we talk about offensive linemen coming out in the draft. Uh, what do you guys think of Warmack? Do you guys are as high as as high on him as I am? Because I think he's a heck of a prospect. That's going to be the cornerstone of a good offensive line in the NFL for years to come. Let me know what you think. I'll be continuing my other draft prospect uh, rundowns here. I already completed some, so if you want to check out my other videos and also subscribe to me and you get all my videos uh, delivered directly uh, to your inbox, it's pretty easy. Also, I'm on Twitter as well, always looking for a good conversation on there as well. My Twitter handle is at snewsanalysis. Thanks, guys, and uh, have a good night and enjoy the national championship game. It should be a great game.